So you need to create an inherited process first to be able to customize it. So create an inherited process from Agile. So I'll say Agile process for tutorial or tutorial is my project names. So I'll say Agile process for tutorial project just to be clear. Let's create this process. Go here and then here if I click on bug I get this to options rules that I was not getting before because it was um, the standard process that you can cannot customize. So to customize it and see these rules and stuff you have to create a custom and you have to create an inherited process. So let's take a look back one more time. Um, let's make our project to use this one change team projects to use agile so here we go setting my projects process level to the inherited one so let's do that now it's set and within this if you go to bug or whatever work item type that you wish to change or set rules for you can go there click on rules click on create new rule here I'm going to say prevent uh, prevent closed to new so I have seen I've seen th there is an option called if a work item state is closed then lock like make required everything uh, for example in this case we wanted to say state but state is not an option but if you just like let this error be and save it it lets you save it but the overall problem with this is that if you just put this condition then you can't even change from new to closed because then it becomes a read only and then you can save it for some reason I'll show you that really quickly so if you click this it gets saved this changes to system dot state um, but th there is a problem with this that you can't you know this rule doesn't allow you to even work with your things so let's see let's go to my work item bug and here if I change this to resolved it doesn't say anything right I can do that actually let me refresh it and then say new active it doesn't and let's say closed now I can't save it because that condition is getting executed and it doesn't let me change it because it it makes it read only right away and I can't save it so for that reason you know going back to closing this one going back to here and that's why you have to create um, you have to create rules to prevent closed to each individual state so for example it will be when a state item state when a work item state changes from closed to new you want to say make read only state right and then I'm going to copy this so I can use it more right and then have a new rule saying let's find out what that rule is so from closed to active so I'll say active here and then make require read only state that doesn't show you just have to type it and then just save it it automatically changes to uh, system dot state and then one more I think one more is to result so if it is make required I'm sorry work item changes from closed to resolved you'd say make read only system dot state and then save it and then you are all set here now let's first of all reload this page to make sure that all these changes have replicated here and now if you change from result to let's say result to active it will let you save if you change from active to see closed it'll let, let you save but if you change from close to anything else you will be not able to do that so let's try that see there is a there's an error 
the value for field state must be the same as the original value so it will not let you save any changes right now even if you are able to make changes to any field values it is still locked you can see that save button is disabled and if you change it to active or any other state you will still not be able to do that let's reload this again change this to yeah let's leave it say closed and then here you are able to save the field changes because we have not really locked the fields yet so even with that rule of closed I'm still able to add content to title repro steps and any other fields that have not locked for that you would go back to the process and add new rule let's say lock closed bugs or actually lock fields when bug is closed and this when the condition is when a state work item state is closed make read only title then add new action saying make read only repro steps and then add new action saying make read only you can choose whatever you want here but i am for the sake of simplicity and this tutorial video shortness will keep it just to that and here you can select all the fields that you want to lock in this list of fields and for now we will just remove that and save this changes let's go back to bugs refresh this page now if now you see that the title is locked you can't make any changes to that because the state is closed the repro steps field is locked and anything else is kind of open right now is actually open because we have not locked them and if i change the state to active i can ch make changes to the fields that i had previously locked when the state was saved uh, when the state was closed but i but i cannot save it as you can see that the save button is disabled So people will not be able to make any changes to this and hence you can do the locking of your work items and control your system processes i hope you enjoyed this video if you like it please let me know by comments or give me a big thumbs or give this video a big thumbs up and i'll make more videos like this thank you